many months later. Hey What's happening everyone? It's been so long, what's going on? It's me, Sam B. Wow, I make that sound really I'm really powerful. <coughs> right guys, hello again, it's me again, Sam B. Hi guys, welcome back, it's me again, Sam B. Hey! And why did I do that? Hi guys, welcome back, it's me again, Sam B. Got there in the end. I'm really sorry I haven't uploaded on YouTube for guys, I don't know, two months maybe? I uploaded an Arabic video, it wasn't great. I, I can understand that you didn't really, you know, go. I have had the most packed summer Ever. Like, there haven't been bits in summer where I've had big long gaps where I've had time to make a video because obviously I would have done. But basically, guys, it was my birthday maybe, I can't even remember, I think it was a week ago. Mm, yeah, probably. I kind of went half with my dad, and hopefully, this will mean more frequent videos on YouTube and more vlogs and all sorts of other things because I may have gone all out. So, basically, guys, I may have bought a MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch. Yeah. I mean, videos will be on, but I'm in big debt now. Kind of. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm getting a map for Pro Retina, which is amazing. Over the summer, I did plenty of things. So I went to Cornwall with my parents. I went to Devon with my parents. Um, then after that, I got my braces off. <laughs> and I went to Reading, and then I had work experience in London. All of those events I'll tell you about now. I went to Cornwall as a summer holiday with my parents and my sister. Basically, we had two weeks out there. We had one week in Cornwall, one week in Devon. The first week in Cornwall was brilliant. Like, the campsite we were on had a really smooth road and it was great for penny boarding. The sea was good, the beaches were awesome, you could have nice walks, it sounded like an old man. And then the second week, we went to Devon. And Devon's a nice place, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing compared to Cornwall. Like, the age range was either between five year olds or 95 year olds, and it was, there was no like people my age. <laughs> but biggest problem about Devon was the fact the night before that we set up our pitch, we pitched on a, like a cliffside campsite that only had a bush as that was in our way sort of thing and it was only like knee height so any winds that were coming over it would just hit the tent and we heard that Hurricane Bertha was coming over from America and we were having the tail of it hit directly into Devon now for us this was kind of bad news because everyone else in the campus like seemed to have like a tree or a wall or like have a big van or something that they could cover their tent with and block out some of the wind we had a bush and a flower pot Hmm. For the first night, we didn't sleep at all, and we were kind of lying there in the middle of the night, like, are we going to make it through? And we, we did, but it, we weren't in a good mood in, you know, in the morning. And that kind of went on for the rest of the week. Devon, we spent most of our time in the tent, and it was really quite boring, but what can you do? So we came back a bit earlier, and I think we had about four days at home where we could just chill, and that would basically be our summer holiday. Also, guys, in my summer, I also helped film a wedding with my two friends, James Light and Jake Hayes, and we helped out for a website called Optical Media, my friend's website, and we basically filmed a wedding uh, for a, like a promo for the hotel that it was at, and it was really good fun. But we had earpieces, so we we were pretty professional. We had lanyards, we were wearing suits, and we had earpieces, so we could talk to one another around the event. But you always get that one idiot that thinks it's funny to whistle right down the microphone on that earpiece. So thank you, Jake Hayes, you absolute prick. Yeah, I found a wedding. That is that's pretty cool. Okay, boy, guys, that's fine. Anyway, after I got my braces off, something like ridiculous happened. I actually went to Reading, and I'm a massive fan of my music. And all the bands that were at Reading were like all the ones that I love. So you got Peace, you got Issues, you got No. Twenty minutes later, Disclosure, Two Dots and Rock Club, Hacktivist, Young Guns. And Shikari, loads and loads of bands. Oh, and Twin Atlantic, they were flippin' amazing. But the thing that got me most of all was camping with your friends. And I know that sounds really lovey dovey. Oh, I love my friends, I love to go camping. Camping in Reading is not a normal camping. You basically you sleep rough, you sleep next to about 300 other people, as close as you can get, and it's a rough night. You'll probably go to bed hungover, you'll probably go to bed drunk, and you'll still wake up in the morning drunk. So for me, Reading, the actual camping was probably the best, even though it was so rough. And 
you'd always get every day, no matter what time of day, you'd always get like a sea of shouting that would come through Reading. It would start at one moment, it's like a Mexican wave, but everyone just shouts. Yeah, that, that was just amazing. But sometimes you just wish that that never happened. They'd do it in the middle of the night and it would wake you up. And you'd also get that one idiot as well. You'd have two of them, but they didn't know who they were, but one of them would shout Steve and the other one would shout Alan. Like sometimes it was funny, sometimes it was flipping annoying. Like you'd get like one or two people, it'd be alright, they go, oh, Steve! That would be alright, it would keep going on back and forth, back and forth. But you get the one fucker at the middle of the night, it'd be like, Alan! And then somewhere else in the other camp, would be like, fuck off! For me, that was funny, but it was also flipping annoying. Straight after Reading, I had maybe one day, in fact, I didn't have a day. The day I came back from Reading when I was a bit hungover in the car, everyone was wet and tired because obviously it rained and it was stressful and you were trying to put a tent away. Oh, it was awful. But that day when I went home, I maybe had two hours at home and then I went straight back down to London. The reason being, I managed to get work experience with a TV company, called Spun Gold TV, and I work, I now work for them, which is, Amazing. I had one week work experience. I had so much work that they were like, can you stay for another week? And then after that, they were like, can you work one day a week with us? Down in London, editing videos that will go off to the commission at ITV and Channel 4. And I said, yeah, sure, why not? So I now work for Spangold TV, a TV broadcast company, which I think is flipping awesome. I, yeah, I just cannot believe it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I will be having more frequent videos and I've come up with a couple of ideas that I want to do. One of them is more of an assignment for college and that's we have we have to make our own music video and then we have to make a narrative to it and film it. And I will put the music video on my YouTube channel. Another thing, I'm meant to be going, it's called the Creepy Cauldron. It's in Stratford upon Avon and I'm it's like a haunted house and I've been chosen to film it. I kind of want to do something a bit different. I don't want to be using this camera. I'm thinking I might vlog it just because you guys can see how scared I get. Like, I think it will be really quite funny. For you guys anyway, me not so much. I'm kind of a bit of a scaredy cat and it could be a bit interesting. Yeah, so upcoming videos. I'm really quite excited to edit them. Uh, this one is going to be a bit different. I mean, this is just like an updating video to tell you what I did over my summer. And I'm sorry I didn't upload over the summer, but there's not a lot I could do with such a busy summer. I keep on saying summer. I need to stop saying summer. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. This has been me, Sam B, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!